Hi and welcome to Academic Compliance Academy of Law and Economics. So in this video I'm going to look into tort law and game theory and applying the negligence rule. So when we look at tort law and want to analyze it in terms of game theoretical frameworks, you know, matrix models, well we look uh, basically at three types of liability rules and that is without any liability, so no liability, strict liability and the negligence rule, negligence liability. We already covered the two first in other videos, but I will just make a notion on no liability. The reason why we always start with no liability is because we want to see how the players act without any regulatory interference. Because if they act in a perfectly efficient manner, there's no reason to regulate the area. But in this video, we will look into the game theoretical framework and apply the negligence rule. So what is that? Well, negligence liability holds a part responsible for harm only if they fail to exercise a reasonable standard of care. So there's kind of a level, we call it culpa in most countries too. In other words, the party must be shown to have been negligent in their action and the negligence must be proven to have a direct cause on the harm. Before we can go into the actual matrix, we just have to uh, put up this cost model. So we have two players, an injurer and a victim. Both of them can choose between being negligent or careful. If they want to be careful, that has a cost. If the injurer decides to be careful, then that will be a cost of three. For the victim, it will lead to a cost of two. But being careful also reduces the cost of the actual injury. So we can see here that if none of them are careful, the injury cost will be 15. If both of them are careful, the injury cost will be 16, then 6. And if we look at the total cost, what we actually want to try to get to is both of them being careful because that will lead to a total cost of 11 and from a societal perspective that would be our preference. So put going into the matrix model here we have the victim horizontally the injury vertically. Remember when we apply liability rule the common rule is that we apply the rule to the injurer. So if we look at this cost model, we can see on the victim, if the victim is negligent, there's uh, marked a zero. That would be the cost of um, not caring. Under careful, the cost will be two because that was the cost of caring. The same accounts for the injury. That is zero for negligence, three for caring. Then we also have an extra cost, which I highlighted in bold. And that is the cost of the injury. What is interesting here is if the injurer has a reasonable standard of care, and here we have to say that being careful will comply with that rule. So if the injury is careful, equal to the reasonable standard of care, then he or she will not bear the cost of the injury, but that will go to the victim. Because the injury actually did have the standard of care that was expected from society and from this ruling. But if the injury is negligent and do not comply to a reasonable standard of care, then he or she will, of course, bear the cost of the injury. So you can see that it kind of shifts the cost of the injury will uh, change from being on the victim side to the injury side in this matrix model depending on the uh, if the injury is careful or negligent. So let's try to analyze and solve this game. So if we start with the victim, if the victim is negligent, he or she will bear a cost of, being, of having zero cost or 10. If the victim is careful, the cost will be two or eight. So here we have no strictly dominating strategy because it's better to be negligent if the injury is negligent but if the injury is careful it's better for the victim to be careful if we look at the injury side if the injury is negligent he or she will bear a cost of 15 or 12 whereas if the injury is careful the cost will be three no matter what which means that we have a strictly dominating strategy in being careful 
Because of that, we can go back to the victim and say, okay, since the injurer has a strictly dominating strategy of being careful, what is the best choice? Well, that is, of course, also to be careful because we reduce the cost from being 10 to 8. So this leading to a Nash equilibrium uh, of both of them being careful. And the total cost here is 2 plus 6 plus 3 equals 11. And that is, from a societal perspective, the best that we can actually get it in this matrix model, depending on the cost model and the different types of ruling. So by applying the negligence rule on this game, depending on this structure of cost, we actually end up in the most efficient result. So this was just an example of how to apply and how to structure the cost when applying uh, the negligence rule into a simple two by two matrix in terms of tort law in game theory. Stay tuned, subscribe to this channel and let's talk much more about law and economics.